you can use the iNaturalist app to record every wild living thing you see. I'm going to show you how and why to use iNaturalist to record your observations in nature. This is Jeff with the Backyard Birds channel. I use the iNaturalist smartphone app when I'm outdoors exploring the natural world. With it, I record observations of plants like trees, grasses, flowers, and mosses. Animals like insects, birds, mammals, and fishes. And fungus like mushrooms and lichens. The observations reported are often used by scientists. But I use it so I can keep track of every kind of living thing I see. If you like nature how-to videos like this, consider subscribing to my channel. Furthermore, you can support my channel by joining me on Patreon. Thanks for watching. Before you use it, let me tell you more about iNaturalist. It's a social network of citizen scientists, naturalists, and biologists. But it starts out with you recording the living things that you are finding. When I say living things, it could be anything that is or was alive. It can even be a sign of a living thing like a footprint. The most common way to use it is to download the app to your smartphone. But you will also want to access it through the iNaturalist website. When you see something dead or alive, you take pictures of it. It's always best to take multiple pictures to capture all details of the individual. You upload your images to iNaturalist via the smartphone app. The app uses artificial intelligence to try to identify what you saw. If you know the identity, select one of the suggested identifications. If none of the suggestions are correct, enter the correct identification. If you aren't sure of its identity, enter a higher taxon that you are sure of, like plant. Once it is uploaded, others can see it, offer identifications, and comment on it. There are many tutorials on using iNaturalist. See a link to a group of them at the top of the video and in the description. Let me show you some examples of things I've seen. This plant is Illinois bundle flower. The pictures show the seed pods and the leaves. This tree is a burr oak. You can see the leaves and the tree. This fish is a big head carp and was dead but it still can be identified. This is a maple leaf freshwater mussel. It can be identified by images of the inside and outside of the shell. This is a larva of a monarch butterfly on a milkweed plant. This is a downy woodpecker. It likely died by striking a window. This is a plain spadefoot toad. There is no image, but it was identified by its call. This is fire blight. It is a disease of apples and other plants of the rose family caused by a bacteria. Find links to these observations in the video description. Let's learn how to search our observations. Start by clicking on Your Observations. Enter the common or scientific name of the organism. We enter Elemus or wild rye for the species. Pick an observation to see its details. I generally look at the location and the activity from other iNaturalist members. Because I submitted this observation to iNaturalist, I discovered a species of grass never reported for the state of South Dakota. I hope this video encourages you to try iNaturalist. I think it's a great tool to begin learning about your local biological diversity. But it's so useful to track the things you see. Look in the video description for links to download the app. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Do you have a question? Leave a comment and I will respond. If you know someone who could learn from this video, share it with them. Hi, it's Jeff. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel. Click on the bell to be the first to know about my new videos. Go a step further and join me on Patreon to support my effort to bring you the content that you desire. You can watch more of my videos to learn about nature.